<laughs> Greetings, students. I uh, wanted to take a moment to kind of do kind of a brief overall explanation of systems theory. So in your work in social work, uh, especially understanding the generalist model, we really have to really have an understanding of systems theory. And there are some, there's a pretty big assignment that's coming up in a couple of weeks uh, that you'll have to actually demonstrate a clear understanding of, of systems theory. So without any further ado, let's kind of get into it. So when we talk about systems theory, we're basically talking about this conceptual framework. And so the idea here is that we all live in systems. Um, all people that you know are part of a system, organizations that you know are parts of systems. Um, we just live in these different types of systems. So when we think about this, this conceptual framework around the social systems in our society, let's kind of take a look at what they might look like. So the systems are these sets of elements that are orderly and that are interrelated uh, that make everything function. So you as a person, your class, your family, the College of St. Scholastica, they're all systems. We live in subsequently then neighborhoods, cities, communities, states, and countries. Um, and these are the places that we attend or go to on a daily basis. We go to school, we go to work, we go uh, and look at various forms of transportation. And then overall, when we start to think about the systems, they are regulated by the rule of law and social policy. So just think about everything that you do, all the people that you encounter are parts of systems. It starts to make a little bit more sense. So these systems uh, are in constant dynamic movement. So there are things that are happening in, say, for example, a micro systems that may have an impact on something that happens in the next level system up, which is a meso system, which may have a, a, an, you know, an impact on the system that happens even further up, which is the macro system. So energy moves back and forth from system to system, from you to your neighborhood, to the state, to the community, to the nation, to the world. So if we think about it in those concepts, we are understanding kind of what we're talking about as it relates to systems. Now, more specifically for us in social work, we're looking at systems in a different way because when we start to apply the various theories of social work, we apply them at the system level. So a system can be, if we look at the very middle, a microsystem, you as an individual, your family can be a microsystem, a classroom can be a microsystem, a religious setting, the next level up has exosystem, but it should be meso. This is a kind of a dated slide, but think about meso system. So think about it this way. Microsystems are people yourself or people that you see every single solitary day. They are part of your system. People who live in your household, kids, your significant others, your spouses, your animals, the whole nine yards. Um, the next level system, which is the meso system, or sometimes referred to as the exosystem, really starts to think about where are the places that you go every single solitary day? So we go to the grocery store, we go to school, we go to health agencies, we go to the gym, we go to work. So those are a part of a larger system uh, that's called our meso system. So it's the places that we go. And then at the farther extreme, we have what's called the macro system. And so this is this large, large system that actually consists of political system, various economic systems, educational systems at points in times culture, our very society, and our nation in and of itself. So it's the larger uh, system of all. And so thinking about where laws and regulations come from, if we think about it, this might be a simple illustration. So when Congress and the president pass a bill, all right, they pass legislation that has an impact on the entire country, right? So if we look at, let's say, for example, a bill that's recently been placed in, in, in the Inflation Reduction Act. Um, this is a bill that's designed to look at combating climate change as well as lowering the cost of many prescription drug items and it's being done through the taxation of the very wealthy. So if that's the legislation that happens at the macro system, then as it trickles down to the meso system, so how does that impact us here in our communities? Chances are that means that in our state, in our county, in our city, there are monies that will be made available to really look at 
reinforcing what we can do to look at fighting global warming. So there will be money and grants that will be funding different projects that will be designed to reduce our carbon footprint. Um, and then for you as an individual, let's say that you're in the process of looking for work and you get picked up by one of these new green companies that this legislation has impacted. So you can see that there's a relationship that happens between all three systems. And so that's the one thing that we want to make sure that you understand as you're looking at social work practice. All right. So again, micro, meso, and macro. So when we think about what we're doing in our particular course and think about all of the different things that you'll be learning over the time that you're here in the program, uh, just recognize that we're looking at it through the lens of system. And so all of the changes that make, that we'll be learning how to make will happen either at the micro, meso, or macro system, or all those systems simultaneously. So just wanted to make sure that as we got started uh, here uh, in your gentleness practice class that you had a pretty good understanding of what systems actually are. So there'll be much more that'll be in your readings. So please avail yourself of it and ask questions as you need to. Talk to you soon.